I was not recording again, but we are here just 30 minutes, so you don't lose too much. Guys from YouTube, folks from YouTube, we are starting now the episode number 7. Actually, I read started 3 minutes ago, but I forgot just to press this record button. No problem. What we did so far, uh, we fixed an important thing. We fixed the another tip from Saturno Mart, which is a commenter from YouTube. He put us back on track on this health query bit. Remember that I was doing calculation with 15. But actually, we need to do this bit mask because the the value could be not could not be only 15. It could be any any value that uses the four bit equals uh, one 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 in the last four. So could be 15. Could be so anything. Could be 15. Could be. You know, anyone that use this, what, uh, one, one, one. So now I fixed that. This is the right way to calculate the half carry bit. At least what I learned from the commenter, Saturno Mark. Uh, thank you, Saturno, again. If you are not watching, I was told that, but I was not recording. Sorry. So yeah. Uh, I get this from this commenter. Let me show you guys here. 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 He said that this. I, I also explained that besides I know that this is a redundant way of setting the, the values, the cycles, as I don't know how to use them. I still don't know which one I should use because I still don't want don't know how to use the cycle numbers. So I, I will keep putting that and I will refactor it later. Uh, and then we started doing the implementation of our rotation instructions. Uh, but I said that well we are doing too much copy and paste here. I think it's starting to doing good pro <laughs> start improving my <laughs> my program, right? So I just create a do RLN which will take a self and re register value. Uh, perform the calculations of the flags. Uh, the C flag in this case is if this the flag the, it will take the key the, the this flag because after we rotate this this bit this the bit seven will disappear will become zero anyway or not zero but it will disappear it will be replaced from the bit six so the carry carry flag will take that the C flag will take that so. That is what I am doing here. Uh, yeah. So now we are just uh, getting back there. I will use the new, this new function in the execute. Yeah. Here I will use like this uh, self do. And this will be self A, and it, it I will it will return an integer which will be self A, and this will be the way that we implement all those R R L. So R L B, it will be. B, B, 
B C C C C D D D D Still dropping frames. Uh, folks, I, I will just stop the streaming and restart again to see if it that will. Let me check one thing here. Is the streaming running good? Let me see if I can see that in my eyes. Are you being able to hear me? Are you guys, are you folks being able to re hear me? I don't know, I need to check. Let me see. I'm having problems with my stream. Every Is everybody hearing me? I think it's okay now. I think it's okay. So okay, let's continue with this fun. E. So okay, so now we are good with this, let's see if everything is okay, yeah, 09B, 017, decoding 17, so 1, 7, Oh, this is a different. This is R L A. R L A. Oh, wait, it's just here.
Oh, the oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait a minute. RLA is different from this L -O. Hmm. interesting let me see this rotate a left through it seems the same right Well, sorry about that, but I will do this because it is the same. Rotate left through care. In this case, it's just A. So yeah. Now here, let me see. Let just get back here. So we do this. Oh, now we are in the decrement. Already the decrement red. This one. Oh wait. No, because this R A L is one. It this R A L is two, so they are different. Oh my god. Yeah. So. Okay, so let me do this. So we have this R. Okay, this is different. In this case, is R R. So if we do this again, it will fail because executing is different. Okay. How will you execute that? Wow. I think that this is almost the same as this. The difference is in the timing. So I will put. Yeah, <laughs> I will do something hacky. Hack I will do something here. I will do this. I will. I will. Oh, nice! We are. We having three viewers today. A lot of people thirst. <laughs> Great! Thank you, guys. Thank you, folks. Thank you for watching. That inspires me, and I'm talking serious. Yeah, because I'm doing this. If I I was building this like a side project um, by myself, as I what uh, as I I already tried a bunch of other side side projects, I will I will prob I would probably. Uh, like like uh, let it go already but as i'm i'm streaming this i feel this responsibility to, to continue with this project because you know i'm exposed so much more people watching me better so i know that my english is not that good yet I'm training. I use my English uh, during the day for work, but still not very pretty good. Uh, anyway, 
any comments, any improvement, anything that you think that I could do, please uh, comment here in Twitch or in YouTube as well when you watch there. Okay, getting back after this drama. Uh, Oh, I need to implement this. I need to impl implement this instruction. Okay, so how to implement this? So let's do this. Uh, but as we know. This increment program count to 2, 8, 2, and the correct is four, 1, 4, 1. So I will do this self PC. This is a, a little hack, hacky, hack, hacky. Self T equals to. Uh, uh. Don't worry. I, uh, this is like a, I'm just a hacking here, hacking here, because this is the wrong values for this case. But everything else is right, so I'm just doing, and I think now it will be okay. Yeah. Now, now we are back on track. Now we have this decrement B. We need to implement our decrement instructions. So let me declare all the decrements deck A, deck B, deck C, deck D, deck E, deck H, deck L. So that I think we have the decrements here. Um, commands eight bit uh, arithmetic, but not sub decrement. So decrement the register. Uh, I think I will do. Okay, we do this here. So it is like zero, three D. Deck A. Zero five. Deck Romet B. Deck Romet C. Decrement D Decrement E Decrement H Decrement L Oh I didn't create a child but I will just put it here HL. I will teach it here. Okay, so now I want to do something here. Okay. So Oh, I just realized that this is there is something missing in this increment here, right? I'm just setting the flags, but I'm not 
actually incrementing A, actually incrementing nothing. So let me do this and again. Okay, so take self, register value, it will return the register value, and that will be like register value, so I will increment the register value, register value equals to 1 plus register value, yeah. I will call that new register value no, then I need to do this okay here I do new register value equals zero And I will return this. Okay. Okay, now we are doing increment. But, but, I want to set if no borrow from and I think this is something like this Let, let me fix this increment first. Okay, so this Should be the increment. This should be the increment. Great. <coughs> now things are getting more readable. Okay, so self E, self E, H, L. Okay, so now we are fine. Let me still see if this is running. 
Yeah, we have this decrements now. I need to create this in this do the incre the decrement. So the health. Let me check how decrement. So my question here is how to do set if no borrow. So if this is boring, borrow, borrowing, borrowing. How can I pronounce borrowing without being boring? Borrow. Borrowing. borrowing borrowing without borrowing so it says that set if no borrow oh I need to fix something in this increment as well you need to be wrapping my and here should be so okay but this carry set if no Borrow from bit. How that? Of care. has been generated out its primary result
but you didn't get it. What is this BCD for? Each decimal digit is represented by a fixed number of bits, usually 4 or 8. Bit patterns are sometimes used as a sign. I think in this case it'll be something like this. So, if there is a, f <laughs> uh, wow. actually, I think it is something like this. If this come here. I need to do this to check this. We'll check this later. Check how half carry works. Need to add to understand better and test on half carry flag BCD form. Need to research. Okay, for now I'm doing this. I, I know this is wrong. This is possible wrong in this decrement case. So I will need to do some research. But as we are doing this, uh, uh, code implementation here, like uh, the instruction implementation, I will continue with that. Uh, when I see that is making some our code behaves wrong, which will <laughs> will behaves if that wrong, I will return to that, or off off offline we will do some research on that because I I'm not understanding I'm not getting that I think I'm too dumb for that or I'm tired no, I don't know. Anyway, I will not do that now. Now in <laughs> so I will continue continue with uh, implementing this decoding so it will be something like this so instruction deck A will be something like this uh, deck A A do deck Just to be sure, we have this here. We are decrementing with wrapping sub, and we knew if the result is zero, we otherwise it's z. And decrement how much? How much? 
processing how much cycles decrement takes. One, one for one, yeah. That's it. So that puts our so B B B B C C C C D D D D E E E E F no sorry sorry about F so H we are implementing our decrement instructions so we are almost there so now here yeah decrementing this music is something I think I will take something like this. Much better music, right? Continue. Okay. Um So all the X. Okay. So let's see what else. 22 22 is 2 2 LDHL plus. Let's see if we are yeah, it's here. 
Hmm. But something says to me that we should loop it through this. Did we? Let me just check if we did it right. Yeah, I put some decoding just to see if our code is doing right. Right? So let's see. Let's see. Yeah. So let's see here. And Z. Yeah, we loop it through. Yeah, we get here. We did it a bunch of times, right? Huh? Okay, it seems right. with our stack here I think it's going well so let's implement this load HL plus I think we implemented already load HL I think it's this. Yeah. Put value into H. Okay, so we already did that, or at least something like that. So this, but instead of yeah, it should be this. Okay. It's twenty two. Twenty two. Load HL plus load. Oh, that that's not not that's it's the other way around. This one, yeah. Put A into memory address, yeah. That's it. Uh, it uh, so let me do this. Okay. So this is Yeah, so I think here we can do the same. Oh, I don't need to do this. I will not do this. I will just do this. And this, and this, and this, 
and this okay okay and so okay we are transforming this this instead of it's add and then we remove this is this one eight two yeah one eight two so yeah we did it so now we are on 23 Oh, we need to increment it, child. Yeah, we did this decrem increment here, but we didn't the HL. This case is the same, but instead of a U8, we are passing around a U16. I don't know how to calculate the bits then. This half carry bits is crazy. Let me do this. I will copy this function. I don't think this is too smart. It's something like this 16. I think we can do the same. I will try that. I will make that try. I think we can handle for this lower bit. Oh, but not for this. I do this. It's better. So I do this something like. It's just changing the. Yeah, but this will make. This change. This you're gonna change. So let's see. And of course, we need to H L. So let me grab some H L here. So yeah. This is how HF works. So yeah, I need to first transform. So now we have this HL. Okay, so then HL becomes HL Then we need to return it as an H and else form 
Which is done. Doing this. So I think this is increment HL. We are we transform this HL to uh, one uh, sixty bit sixteen bit. We do we do the increment as sixty bit sixteen bit, and then we split that again. I still don't know if this is correct. Check. If it is correct, so okay. What's that? Oh, sure, because we didn't decode that, we still didn't decode our instruction. Okay, zero. Okay, so now it will run. And this is return. Well, we did the call there. We are inside a call. I think this call or this. Um, well, I, this because we didn't implement the, the return yet. So yeah, now we need to implement a return. So yes, we implemented the call. Yeah, so I think the return, which is C9, so C9, this, this should be something like this, so let me, I will do this red. Okay, so zero C nine instruction return. Okay, return is just So return pop two bytes from stack and jump to that address. Yeah. So it's like call. So we implement the return here. It should be something like this. So red. This is just a rat. So how how much it takes? One. So I pop from stack. So I do this self pc equals pop from stack wait 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 wait
so wait we we are red okay so I think we don't do this we do this self PC equals pop from stack what I need to pass to that just MME just MME okay yeah then we don't need to do this and this will be 16 and this will be 4 I think that's it so we are now in 13 so 2e so we are we, we were here then we call 95 we come Where is 95? Yeah, we get here. Then we return. Here you go. We get back. To here. Then we do the call again. That's weird. Let me see if we are doing right. <laughs> Let me see if we are doing good. 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 Want to see the call? So call ninety five. Pop B C D C jump B C L L B C around D C. Uh, okay. So we did this call. We are now executing this stuff. Okay, so we are DC. This jump is doing this loop here. Okay, then go there, increment HL, increment, uh, yeah, then increment again. Then we return. Okay, then we return here. Then we call 96, which is here. Then we do all the same again. That's weird, but we do. Yeah, we are right. Then we return. So we have two calls. We did those two calls. And we are now in this increment D. No. 
nice. Pretty nice. Yeah, we are almost done. Yeah, so let's let's remove the. I think. So just to be sure, uh, thirteen, thirteen, one three in increment D. So we actually don't have that increment. We exclude, yeah. So we have here ink D. So thirteen. Thank you. So. So we also have ink BC and also have ink HL which you read there. Uh, we also have ink SP which is supposed to be this is different, right? Ink HL and ink Hmm, this is interesting. What's the difference? Increment register and N. You didn't get what's the difference between HL and HL. These that do not affect the flags? Maybe. We yeah, are no flags. Other ink HL no. flex. This is not what we were doing. This is wrong. Because we are affecting the flag here. Yeah. See? So this 23, which is. In KHL should be no flags and ink 34 34 should be the one that we did so ink no flags should be which is this this is ink so this is not we don't need to do this it is HL well HL from wrapping add run and then the experiment again we don't need to care about the flags but we need to care about the program counter which is 
one eight two and this is the same for BC so increment BC is the same so I need to do like C C BC C sorry actually it's B here B B B C B C B C B B C B C and the E which is the one that we just the one that we we were we are so here is D here is D D D D D La 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 D E so this is So this is D, so D, E, E16, E16, so D, 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 E, D, D. I think we are good. Let's go. Continue. 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 Thirteen. What? Thirteen. Oh, let's do the deco. Yeah. We make it here, but we didn't do zero thirteen. Instruction. D E no. Okay, so what else? Seven B. Oh, low A E. How's that? I think I already have that. No, that the reverse way. Okay, so 
seven B seven. Seven B. So all the seven is low from eight. Oh, not seven. Seven B. Seven B. So all the seven is load eight from eight. Okay. So. Let's go to the load. This is so we already did that. Oh yeah, we already did some of those instructions. So let me do this. AC, LD. This should be AC, right? Should be AB, AC, AD. H and this should be B C and D E should be right, right? So let me go there. So this is E. Let's see if it is it will not compile of course. that compile so let me get back here so load a b a c a d a e a h a l right okay so we will have something like let me change this music. I think this music is is the problem. Let me try another music. Much better. I think the problem was the music. Now people will start appearing to watch us. <laughs> so load a h load a a l. Yeah, this part is bar. It's kind of boring because. You know, so let's do this way. So zero seven F equals to instruction 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 no A A. Ah, it's right there. I think I read put that A B
tan tan. We don't need to put all those things. We don't need this because B is just B. So self B. Put N into value. Yeah. What's the problem? So now we can do this. Actually, we can do this. We can do another function better, 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 better. Well, let's do this. Function load. X into Y. X into Y and then how you do that? Again I will have the same problem. Actually, I don't know how to do that. How to access this dynamically? Like, do something like this. Of course, I can do a set as a string, do a match. Let's do that then. So set register uh, self move tables self register name str and register value u8 then I will do this something like match register name a 
self a equals to register value b uh, I will do this just because I still don't know how to dynamically set and I don't know how to dynamically set a struct field so F I don't want to. S well, sometimes I want. So let's do this. H. Well. And of course. In case of different, um, recognize it, register to set. Okay, so now we have a function to set the register. That's perfect. Now we can do something like this. So do load from x to y. Do do load. load is always one from another do load uh, u8 and this is self okay, self uh, from no actually to it's a string name to to set and from um, value yeah because I want to get yeah there should be a, a value which will be and you wait right so then I do something like this just do set register Well, uh, that's it. Okay, and finally, in our Oh, I can do the same, actually. Wait, 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 wait! I can do even better. <clears throat> I can do this. Get register. Register name. And I return the value of the register. So if I do this, I will just do this. I just do this. Just do this. I will just do this. And 
I will do this. This. So I'm setting registers dynamically. In this case, I'm getting. So yeah, and load will be to from load do load uh, reg to reg. So I do just do this self get register from. Oh, thank you, Python Jungle, for the following. Thank you, appreciate. I just joined it and don't know how exactly what are you doing, but instead of set to each variable like that, I think you can do a hash map instead of if. Oh yeah, yeah. There is, there is. Thank you, Python Jungle. There is the there is there is hash map in. In Rust, then we can do that, of course. But I, I have created these instructions as a field of a struct, and there is apparently there is no way to. So my CPU has this instruct, this this. A, B, C, D as a field, and in struct in the st struct in Rust, there is no way to set like that. But in, but yeah, you are right. If I use hash map, which I think is the same in in Python, if I do if I use hash map for that, then I can. But I already use it this, so you know the code are that. So I will do this temporary, and then I will do what you said. Yeah, because I already saw that this hash map should be better. But then I need to refactory everything that's do like this self self. I'm not pretty sure how to do that. But thank you. If you if you know a way to do that this better, like to do this refactoring in a faster way because I re I'm already doing this in a lot of parts. I need to do a lot of refactoring now, but I don't want to do that right now. So I will be doing this, get register and set register in a string way, which is not the best way for doing that. So here I can do this. So if self debug. I think anyway I think I need to, to have factory that to use a hash map instead but let me just because I'm almost wrapping this session for today so I just want to be able to 
go with this. I'm gonna to do a lot here. But let's do that. So this for example, I don't need to do this, it's just oh and this also I can do that. case I can do this you know yeah it's not the best way so I can do this B A and I can do this like C A Actually, it's not too thrown, it's it's thrown and two. Right, so A B is A B. Mm -hmm. I can do this like A C. Out. 
there's no need to remove them. Exactly what we need. A E. Then um, recognize it by it. Okay, let me see where we are. Oh, C P. C P. So. F E F E C P at C P copy maybe copy you know copy is like load right what C P let me see what is C P Basically, a A minus N subtraction instruction, but the results throw away. Oh. Uh, okay. So we need to do that. Uh, I think we are good for today. Uh, let me just get uh, added. Did some refactoring on get getting and setting registers and implemented more opcodes yeah but we need, still need to check that hash map part maybe it's better maybe it's a better way of doing that <coughs> having a hash map Uh, also, I need to check that health carry because we don't know yet. Actually, I don't know yet if that health carry is right or not. Uh, and we need to, of course, to implement all those other instructions. I'm happy that we did those two calls. So I think after DCP we will be like a yeah it will be red soon. This is the Nintendo logo, which will be loaded into our VRAM. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully we get to the display soon. Yeah, because then it will be better to see things in screen, right? Coding, coding, coding. <sighs> Nothing yet. Yeah, we are we are at the scene. Our we are our already. Being able to see our 
memory being set. But okay. Hey, I just joined it. I don't know how exactly what the are you doing, but instead of setting it like that, I think you can use. Okay, so that's it for today. I will be uploading this video to YouTube as usual. Uh, and I will be back tomorrow at the same time. Maybe I will do, if I wake up early, I will do like in, in the early morning tomorrow, some other session. I'm eager to see something in the screen, so I really want to go fast with that. Uh, and that's it. I think I will be closing for today. Thank you everybody for thank you for watching and see you tomorrow. Thank you.